What's up, everybody? It's Heat Override, and I'm ready to bring the pain for you and Dr. Roto this week. Ooh, yeah! How's everybody doing? Man, that was a crazy birthday weekend. Did I have fun? Wish I would have. I wasn't feeling too well. But however, we did have my betting article on Friday for my Heatastic Bets of the Week. And then I also had two other articles drop. We'll get to that in a few moments. Right now, I just wanted to make sure you head over to Dr. Roto, use the code word DOC, get yourself a percentage off, and join up. Fantasy football season is here. Dynasty drafts are happening left and right. There's no reason you should be missing out on the action or any of the information that we have at Dr. Roto to make you bring the pain to the competition. Yeah. Woo! All right. Well, let's fly away. So my Friday bets didn't, uh, came out pretty good. I had, you know, a few things didn't work out for me, but that 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 happens. So we had Freddie Freeman miss on the home run bet. That that I mean, predicting a home run, Freddie Freeman just is, doesn't seem to have that power this year. It was a long shot, but they had a good number on it. That's kind of why I jumped on it. Brian De La Cruz, I don't know what the heck was wrong with that dude. But he just didn't want to do anything. They just has that was like his worst game in the past week, too. But whatever, that's why people don't play with Miami. However, Brent Rooker has been on fire since I brought him out. And man, he's been doing great for my seasonal teams. I hope that you have him in a seasonal team or you've been betting him this last whole week. But man, he has cracked so many home runs. It's just been nice to actually jump on that and cash from it a little bit. So that being said, I went two and two, puts me at 13 and 11 after that horrendous week that I had last uh, two weeks ago on week five. So this is your week six outlook. Everything is looking good on that. Expect more this Friday. I definitely want to get back into it. Want to get back on the winning side of things, go three and one, go four and oh, catch myself up on that. You know, it just the way it's been, it's hard to hit parlays too. Like I said, I had that parlay lose last week, but then I have this parlay hit this week and this parlay was a little, could have been a little harder. I mean, asking Sonny Gray to do six strikeouts. I mean, he, he, but he did it. He did it. He did it good. All right, let's move along to the article. So I had my super flex rookie draft that I did a podcast on already as well, too. So you want to go back and look at that and see the players that I was picking. It was really coming out to where if you were in the middle of the first round of a three round rookie draft, you were looking at either Drake May or JJ McCarthy. If you were doing a super flex, because of course you're going to need a quarterback going into the future, and then at least you want one. But if you were at the end, you weren't getting any quarterback. That's just the way it goes. Heck, you weren't even getting Brock Bowers. The only people that were really there in 12 and then, you know, Team 14 and Pick 16 were like Keon Coleman. So, you know, you heard me talk about Keon Coleman. You also heard me talk about my my guy, Blake Coram. Oh, yeah. And then, you know, we, we brought up just those three players just continuously came around a stemming also came around too. So he was, he was definitely the third round pick at the end. So I did a linear and snake. Both those guys still seem to have been popping up. There's so many ways you could do drafts that sometimes why you want to do a mock draft is to see where players are going. Now don't always do it against the computer. Always check out those things that you could do on websites like you can play against other players in a mock draft you know eventually they're going to have those on espn they're not going to be the same you're not going to really have i mean the the rookies but at the same time you can still they'll be there but you know you you'll have the whole team so that's why when i did the full when i did a full nfl draft with the rookies included and i was at 12 you know i had some great players fall to me but again being a dynasty and going forward these players are going to be old and they're or they're in the middle of their career. So you really only have a good four to five years with these players at that prime position before you're going to have to start thinking about replacing them. And that's the thing is it takes about two to three years sometimes to really see what you have at a quarterback. So that being said, you're going to want to run a few drafts before you do anything, especially dynasty drafts right now, rookie drafts, because it's all going the same. You're getting Marvin Harrison right at the top, you know, and and you're getting neighbors is going right after that Williams. And, and that is the beauty of fantasy football, because the more you run it, the more you become in tune with it. So that when you're on the clock in a draft, you don't have to worry too much. You already are in that mode. You've done the practice. You've done the research at Dr. Roto. You made sure that you were going to be 
our championship friend. Yeah. Woo. All right. Let's move along. So, again, because I have all this stuff coming out, look forward to my IDP stuff. That The articles usually hit at the beginning of June. So maybe I'll get those out a little early. We'll see, but we'll work on that. Make sure you check that out because remember last year I did all those articles. Then I did all the podcasts for all the articles as well too. So you're going to have so much content coming from just me alone at Dr. Roto. Then you add in Dr. Roto. You add in everybody else. The site literally is having two to three articles about fantasy football slash dynasty football dropping right now. You have to get there. You have to be prepared because there's no other way when it comes to fantasy football unless you like donating your cash. Oh, no. We don't like to do that, do we, people? I mean, man, that doesn't even seem like the thing you want to do. But what you do hope for every single year is to win a championship, I, 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 I hope, right? So that is what we're here at Dr. Roto for. We're here to help you win that championship give you the right statistics, tell you to run mock drafts. And heck, if you're in a draft and you got at least two minutes or you have at least a countdown where you have a couple hours to pick somebody, hit us up in our subs only Discord. We definitely have your back. Oh, yeah. Have a great day, everybody. Look forward to all the content and articles I have coming. And man, stay tuned. Make sure you get over to my YouTube at Heat Override number five. Get to my Facebook, Bring the Pain. Go to my Spreaker, that's S-P-R, Spreaker, and look for Bring the Pain, and go to the one that has that logo, not that other one that don't even exist anymore that someone just threw up. I mean, they just trying to get my name, but you ain't me. You ain't Mr. Heat Override, and you will never be, because when it comes to anybody that knows how to bring the pain and is a true pain bringer and always will slay the slates, it's your boy, Heat Override. Get the Dr. Roto. Let's win some championships. But it starts right now. Draft. May the drafts be with you. May the picks be with you. And may the points be with you. Oh, yeah. Woo. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Yeah.